Hey guys, today I'm so excited because I'm gonna be sharing the new Myel Organics Pomegranate and Honey Collection with you. So there are four products in this line. Today I'm gonna be focusing on the Leave-In, the Curl Smoothie, and the Curling Custard. So first I'm gonna start with the Leave-In, and as you can see, the consistency is thicker than their original Leave-In, but it's still creamy and really lightweight and soaks into their hair easily. So I'm just going to apply this to the back quadrant of my hair and I also wet my hair with water before I start it just to help the product absorb into my hair better. And next I'm going to move on to the Curl Smoothie. This product is a very rich and moisturizing hydrator from the line. Although the product is rich, it absorbs really nicely into my hair and I just have to work a little bit harder to get this to spread throughout my hair as compared to the leave-in because it's a little bit more dense. Something to know about this product is that it does have dimethicone in it, which is a silicone. And if you aren't the biggest fan of silicones, I would just watch out for that. I like silicones in moderation, and I really do feel like this product makes your hair feel softer. It does make it more manageable as it states on the bottle, and it also provided me with a lot of moisture. And lastly, we're going to apply the curling custard. Now this is more of a jelly consistency to me. It's a very silky and slippery moisturizing styling gel. And I really like the consistency. It goes in the hair really well. It just slides right in there. And I can tell instantly upon putting the product on my hair that it was defining my curls and also just minimizing those frizzy spots. And it did a really good job of smoothing my roots as well. So the curling custard offers light to medium hold and after my hair dried I noticed that I had really good hold when my hair was still in twists. The gel did dry with a cast but the cast naturally softened over time after I slept on my hair. And then after my gel cast broke I noticed that my hold got lighter and lighter as each day wore on. So now I'm just going to go ahead and flat twist my hair and if you're curious as to how I flat twist my hair I do have a video on it so I'll link it up there in the right hand side of the video. And I'm doing three twists per section, so here's what my back section looks like. And I'm just going to repeat those same steps to the front quadrant of my hair. I'm going to spray it down with water, apply my leave-in, and then here I'm applying the curl smoothie. And as you can see, the curl smoothie does a really good job of providing even more moisture to my hair. And then lastly, I'm going to take the curling custard and apply that for some hold. And I also noticed that the curling custard gave me really good shine even after I untwisted my hair. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and flat twist my hair just like the previous sections. So here is my hair all twisted up and moisturized. I have three twists per section for a total of 12 twists. And I'm just gonna sit under the dryer for a bit to help speed up the drying process and the heat will also give me a sleeker result. Hey guys, so it's been two days I wanna say. So when I twisted my hair up, I sat under a dryer for about 45 minutes and then I let it air dry the rest of the way. So now I'm about to untwist them. And y'all, my twists are so soft right now. Like, they have so much fullness to them. Usually my twists aren't this full and they just look really good. Like, I'm excited. I could have kept these twists in for another two to three days, but I wanna see what the results are. So I'm just gonna take some oil and just put this all throughout my hair. So we can take these twists down. And I like to put the oil in my hair, of course, so I can minimize frizz and also just give my hair a little bit more moisture because I haven't put any product on my hair since I did my hair two days ago. All right, so this first twist 
It just feels so soft, y'all. Like, my hair feels so good. And because I flat twisted my hair, each twist has like its own section, bruh. This looks so cute. This looks good. So this was the first time that I didn't use oil to seal my hair when I was putting all the products in. It's been a long time since I didn't use oil when I was doing that process, but I will say that that curling custard gave me so much hold. Like when my twist dried, it was crunchy in a good way because it locked in the curl, I could tell. And then over time, it just softened up. I didn't have to scrunch the crunch at all. It just softened up. Like I went to sleep and I woke up and my twists were soft instead of crunchy. And the definition that I got is amazing. This is cute. Okay, so this is one half completely untwisted. And I'm not even gonna lie, I love it y'all. Like, my hair feels very, very lightweight, and I can tell that I didn't use oil, but it feels good. Like, my hair doesn't feel weighed down at all, and I think in the next, like, three days, it's going to be really big and still have definition. Like, I really like this. Look at this definition. I'm untwisting my hair. Look how pretty that is. It just jumps right back into place this line all right you guys so this is my hair with everything untwisted that is my definition y'all that is crazy that looks so good so i need to fluff my hair out a little bit and uh there's a big part right down the middle of my head so i need to work that out as well but here's what the back of my hair looks like the definition is amazing so I'll show you guys what it looks like after I fluff everything out. So this is my final result. I didn't fluff my hair too much because I don't want to get rid of the definition just yet. I'm going to wait for it to fluff out on its own throughout the days. And I basically just bobby pinned the hair in the back of my head to cover up the part that was back there. But honestly, I love these products. Like, they work very, very well in my hair, and I'm an oil junkie. Well, really, I'm a mint almond oil junkie. I always feel like I need to put this on top of all of my products to seal in the moisture, and I didn't use it this time, and I got super light, fluffy, but still moisturized hair. So that kind of opened my eyes to the fact that I don't always need oil if I'm using super moisturizing products. So out of everything that I use, these two products are my favorite. I love the Curl Smoothie as well. It works really well with the line, but I just love the leave-in conditioner and the fact that it's just a very, it's like a thicker version of the White Peony leave-in conditioner, but it's just as moisturizing and it works really well and slips really well into your hair. And this curling custard is amazing. It really gives you hold, but it moisturizes your hair a lot. So I'm super excited about this line. If you guys wanna see the products up close, I'm gonna have them linked below for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.